And uh, we got to take a very short break uh, here in as well as the uh, broadcaster is still so I'll be talking more um, if I take more to speak. Uh, in as far as uh, the uh, general conference is concerned, I've just been talking to a uh, number of, um, let's say, two or three of uh, um, invited uh, entities uh, to the uh, to the event. Um, let's bring in um, uh, another party that has been uh, invited to the conference. It's a name that needs very little introduction, but I'll go ahead and introduce it anyway. Uh, the National Democratic Conference uh, uh, leader, Dr. Shimba uh, Kampuini. Uh, thank you for taking the interview, and um, it's, it's good to see you. Now, one would think that you would not say yes to an invitation act. Those are politics of the parties. Those are politics that have led up to what it is. So what the field has done is, I, I wish it was done when I was born. If all political parties invite other political parties to their general conferences, I'm telling you the issue of political violence, the issue of political rivalry, the issue of bitterness would have been dealt with. Because when you have a function like this, you can now an opportunity to have a bilateral where you can discuss some of the issues. And it is just a sign of maturity. It's a sign of maturity. It shows that our, polit our politics are now becoming civil and uh, friendly. Because surely, like you have said, who would have expected that I would attend a PF general conference? Who would even accept that PF can invite other political parties? This is the way it should be. Does it in any way indicate that the NDC has lost its panel? Well, it can't and it can never. When it comes to matters of policy, we have every right to provide checks and balances. And what is not right is not right. What is right is right. It's as simple as that. If the PF does anything wrong, which is going to negatively affect the living standards of our people, who condemn it. That's why we are opposition. What does it mean to be bad? Well, what it means is what I've said, that uh, it's a show of uh, maturity in the political uh, arena, and uh, our democracy now becoming uh, growing like a day. So it's a step in the right direction. But uh, we, we were in a, an alliance with the UPND, and I was being quoted to be running the vice president. As alliance partners, they didn't even invite us to go to their convention. That shows you what kind of people and what kind of politics certain people practice. Uh, uh, conventions or general conferences. You invite even the the uh, the, uh, the the 
the diplomatic uh, community. You invite uh, the trade unions, but uh, some of these political parties, it's about themselves and themselves for themselves. Having said that, many would expect that maybe you're rejoining the PM. <laughs> I am franked by my vice president, and by the way, Mrs. Uh, Savo Imboy has been appointed as acting vice president of NDC. Mr. Kamaka Kaonga has been appointed as acting chairman of the NDC. And I'm franked by my secretary general here. Does it mean that we are joining the PF? In any case, if I decide to join the PF, what, what wrong has it got? It's my choice. But here we have been invited to attend the conference. People forget that uh, I'm one of the five people that started PF. And uh, surely to be associated with PF is not a sin. It's not a sin. What are expectations out of this? Well, I cannot have any expectation because the expectations are up to the members of PF. They are the ones who are going to choose their leaders. They are the ones who should make a decision whether they are changing the, the because the convention has even got the power. I still remember the PF constitution has even got the power to change the constitution of the party to hear disciplinary matters. So the expectation lies solely in the members and not in invited guests. But does it remind you of how the PF was formed in any way? Well, it reminds me when I come, I see green. It reminds me of the good day days, and I wish they could come back. What would you do moving forward um, in as far as contributing to the democratic organization is concerned? Um, some might expect you're going to be more vociferous, more critical. Others might think, well, this is the end of Shimbabwe. Uh, in green, in green. I cannot <laughs> change. <laughs> I am the Shimbabwe that I am. And I can tell you, I believe in calling a spade a spade and not a spade a big for the same impression. It's just that in life, sometimes you need to look at the bigger picture, not a, a narrow or individual interest. And I can tell you that some people have got individual interest. And very soon, in the next two, three weeks, I will explain to the Zambia who they are, what they stand for, and why they behave the way they behave. And when I do that, they will never rise on a platform. But I was close with them. I, I was inside them. I did realize who they are, and that is why I refused to work with them, to help them get the country and use it for what they want to use it. If the Patriotic Front calls for an alliance, would you consider it? <laughs> you think this is not an individual uh, political party. No single person makes decisions. We are having our general conference, I think, next week. If the members decide that we work with PF, so be it. If the members decide that we go back to, 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 to UPND, vote for beat. Amen. It's all the membership. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Dr. Shiva Kambiri, President of the United